sports coverage of the NFL takes us to the Carolinas and Bank of America Stadium here in Uptown Charlotte. Today, it's the opener of a new NFL season between the Los Angeles Chargers and the Carolina Panthers. Get strapped in, it's just about time to get the party started. And off we go from Uptown Charlotte. And this will not be returnable, it's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Prescott looks to throw right away. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. No well, partner, that's the start that you want right there. And you know he spent the entire offseason throwing hundreds, I'd probably say thousands of passes, getting ready for that moment. The first throw of the new season. He's dreamed about it, thought about it, and now it's out of the way. Yeah, one for one, a lot more to go. They'll come up now, second and four from the 31. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. The false start hurts him there a bit, backs him up to second and nine. Now Prescott. Downfield and caught by Thornton. Touchdown, L.A. We thought that may be a quick strike offense this season. That is lightning quick. Not bad for the first drive of the year. That has to actually exceed expectations, doesn't it? Because most teams want to be a quick strike offense. They want to score as quickly as possible and run a defense into submission. What they have to understand is, while they got it done there, long way to go. Don't get discouraged if you have to, they have to run a few more plays on your next drive. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Taylor to begin the drive and he has met at the line of scrimmage and he goes down right there where to make the tackle Dion Leonard he shows you right there he can do more than just cover in the secondary from that free safety position yeah the evolution of the position has really been significant hasn't it because a lot of teams no longer have a free safety strong safety designation they just have safeties so wherever the ball is one can be close to the line of scrimmage one can be deep and vice versa on that play how about that tackle we just saw? Pretty nice. And he'll go down at the 26. A gain of six. An extra cornerback now in the game for the Chargers here on third. Off play action. Strong. Got a man open. That's Devontae Parker complete. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 
11 yards and a Panther first down. of 11. Now they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. Off play action. Strong. Under pressure. They got him again. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down. Went backwards. It's third and very long. Got an open man here, and it's K.J. Hamler. A crazy sequence here. A huge game that time, but it still leaves him well short for fourth down. Now whistles. Flag down, and I believe one of the Panthers got moving early. Throw for it here. Trying to fit it into Moore, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Jalen Ramsey. He exited the pocket trying to improvise. That was a tough throw, and unfortunately, it wound up in the wrong pair of hands. And Brandon, when you're on the run, sometimes your downfield vision can get skewed just a bit. Now, the beauty of extending a play is sometimes your receivers find their way open but oftentimes you end up closing down part of the field and bringing those defenders to the ball. And that one was picked off. Following the interception, here's Prescott. He finds his target, Allen. And he's brought down after a very nice game. It's a gain of 34. A very nice job right there, working the middle of the field, able to create some separation, and then utilize it to not just make the catch, but turn up field once he got the ball in his hands. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. They'll run here with Spiller. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. It's a one-yard touchdown run. And the Chargers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point splits the uprights. And it's now 14 to nothing. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signal for and take it. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And Charles, it's kind of gut check time. Look, I know it's early first quarter, just their second drive of the game, but they've already thrown the interception, given up the score. You're down double digits. they got to figure out something and pretty quickly here. No doubt about it. And when we look at that sideline, I'm sure you're observing the same thing I am. I don't like the body language at all. They look like they're in a state of stunned disbelief. So to me, we always talk about someone stepping up and making a big play. I think it would behoove them if multiple guys step up and make big plays right now. They need something positive to happen, and they need for it to happen now. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Off the play fake. Strong. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Almost feels like anything you can do, we're going to try and match or do better. We've already seen one touchdown pass from the opposition. They tried to equal it on that throw. Play action. Strong. That's complete to DK Metcalf. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 36. 
17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. With 13 yards remaining on second down. Off the play fake. Strong. And over the middle, this is Parker. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. But I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. <laughs> I think sometimes when you're trying to get after the quarterback, maybe it's better to be lucky than great because I think on that one, he's just trying to get upfield and rush the passer. Instead, the tackle for the loss landed right in his lap. They're going for Hamler, but this is intercepted. Kyle Hamilton picks it, and the Chargers will take over here at their own 14-yard line. Second straight drive now here, Charles, that have ended with an interception. And I just wonder, because I don't think it's going to rattle him necessarily, but I also wonder if it's going to unnerve him a little bit. Does it lead to another one, or does he find a way to pull it together and become sharp again? First down, Prescott. And the ball is knocked out, and it's picked up by the Panthers. So they've got the football, and they'll start right on the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. A disappointing end of the sequence there. He was starting to turn nothing into something, and then he lost the football. And sometimes things get lost in the transition. And what I mean by that is you go from being a passer to a runner. And at a certain point, once you cross the line of scrimmage, you're strictly a runner now. There's no more downfield threat. Make sure you take care of the football while you're traversing downfield. First and 10, Taylor now. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. Big Sebastian Joseph Day there on the stop. I don't think any of us were surprised that they decided to start this drive on the ground after the last two drives ended in interceptions. Unfortunately, though, not a lot going on on that first play. Yeah, I think the anticipation was felt also by the defense. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Looking to throw, strong. And he finds Parker here, complete. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the seven. The pickup goes for 13 and sets him up first and goal. A chance for their first points of the season here as it's first and goal. Back to throw, strong. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Oh, they were so close. That close to their first points in the game. Just needed to hang on just a second longer. But he couldn't complete the process of the catch through the jostling from the defender. Looking to throw on second down. Strong. Touchdown, Panthers. Jonathan Taylor with career touchdown number 94. He ties both Jerome Bettis and Priest Holmes on the all-time list. And the Panthers are back within a score. Zerline good with a PAT. And that'll make our score 14-7.
This game back within a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. From way up at the 23. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. This offense hoping to do better than last time. Remember, they had the fumble that set up the short field, and then they gave up the touchdown CD. And so many people talk about how you have to have a short memory after you make a mistake in the NFL. I don't totally subscribe to that, partner. I think that you have to remember what you did and figure out how to not do it again. Get out there and execute the next time out. Avoid those errors and get some momentum built back up for your offense. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones at a first down. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Coming in, he really liked his chance of having a big year based on a terrific offseason. And runs like that on opening weekend show that he's right. Now this offense in midseason form here in the opener. It's first and 10. tight end Allen and they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. It's a gain of 22 as we tick towards 222 on the clock. Well it certainly doesn't matter if it's been through the air like on this play or on the ground. I don't know what's going on with this defense in a sense they've been AWOL on this drive so far. Three plays three first downs given up. They've got to find answers and they've got to find them quick. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. We've hit the two-minute mark in the second quarter, 14 to seven. Throwing on second and 14. Prescott, and that is incomplete. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. 46, 46. 46. Prescott to throw it. And that's knocked away and incomplete. Textbook coverage right there. Played the ball, never lost sight of where it was headed, and stayed in perfect position to make a play on it. Able to keep the receiver and the quarterback in his sight lines. And his kick is good. And they will move up by 10 now, 17 to 7. So that one on target, and it adds to this first half lead. And maybe we're too early to worry too much about one score lead, two score lead, et cetera. But this is where you kind of start banking those points that come in helpful later on. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up and they're still down double digits. So you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Dan, I think the best. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Kyle Hamilton picks it. And the Chargers are going to take possession of the football. A nightmare of a first half for him. That's now three interceptions. But Charles, with his talent, if anyone can shake this off and right the ship, it's him. I agree because you don't get to be one of the best quarterbacks in the league without developing some major mental toughness. So I expect him to go to the locker room at halftime, hit the reset button, and come out a new guy in half number two. 
Big Derek Brown making the stop. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. On second and nine, Prescott. Throw to St. Brown, complete on the left side. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. They haven't made much of this great starting field position they had. Here's third and six. Now the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. The 25-yard line is what they need here. This is third down. Now movement up front. I think they're going to get one of the Charger linemen. Maybe anticipating a blitz, and they jumped. Yeah, and if we saw it, you know that they saw it. The bad guys might have been coming on that play. Had to pick them up, and they jumped. On third down, it's Prescott. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. Well, partner, given where that drive started, that's an excellent job defensively to force them into fourth down. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. That also a career-long kick for the veteran, Charles. Yeah, how about what he just got done there? We always knew he had a big leg, but how about everything coming together perfectly on that one? Great leg swing, and bang that one through. Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And with eight seconds on the clock, really not a lot of time to try to put anything together. Here we go. Likely time for one final snap as they start out first and 10. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. But we'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. So here comes the kickoff, and what now is just a one-score, six-point game. This will be fielded inside the five. 
And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Charger drive about to get going. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team. You've got to be careful right here. Prescott's throw there complete to Allen. Keenan Allen, touchdown, Chargers. Keenan Allen, 76 yards. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Teams always want to send messages. I think that was quite a statement there to start the third quarter. Yeah, less than a minute in. Already that quick, long strike. They are setting the tone for the second half. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead now stands at 13. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. down he'll go up top here for Hamler and that is incomplete took a shot there on first down but he couldn't reel it in they have not gotten him going at all tried to spark something there with a longer throw unable to complete it but you have to keep trying he's one of their best playmakers no matter what it says on the scoreboard you're always trying to get him the football and able to break one tackle but then quickly brought down but a nice little game 104 yards rushing for him now as he goes over the century mark here in the season opener. Man, these guys may not win this ball game, but you certainly can't fault the effort of this man here today. He's been a real thorn in their sides all afternoon. And that last carry puts him over the 100-yard mark. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Throwing on first down. Strong. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. There he goes right side. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a Charger TD. And Charles, for this offense, those interception woes they kind of had in the first half have now followed them into the second half. And for this defense, they take advantage, turn that into a pick six. And that defense is in a spot now. Where they're thinking about ways to close this game out as confidently as they've been playing, I expect them to do exactly that. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. 
Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 14 yards that time for number 14. Now a play fake here on first down. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know. What do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a great question, and my suspicion is he's been coached really well to not show that he's having a problem. You know, they always tell you, no matter what, you keep throwing the football with confidence. Well, we're not seeing a confident thrower right now. He's off balance, the passing game's off balance, and the defense is taking advantage. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He'll find Metcalf. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. 11 yards and a Panther first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. You've got to figure the further they fall behind, the more you think that they'll get away from the run. They're trying to stick with it, but the results, they just aren't there. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. Play action, strong. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 29 yard line. It's a gain of 22 as we take towards 222 on the clock. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 as they're down to the 29 yard line. Off the play fake, strong. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. What would look like a march to the end zone is hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. On second down, it's Taylor. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instincts. Being able to diagnose runner pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. Play action, strong. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They'll run here with Taylor. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the 1. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Again, it'll be Taylor. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Third and goal now, mere inches from Pater. They'll look to run with Taylor. And he will take it across for Panthers touchdown. Jonathan Taylor. With career touchdown number 96, he joins Eric Dickerson on the all-time list. And the Panthers are able to get a score back in the final stages of this third quarter. Sirline connects on the extra point, and that cuts this lead down to 13. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. 
And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. The Charger drive about to get going. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and ten. Play fake. Here's Prescott. Going up top. He's got a man complete. 20. And all the way in for a Charger touchdown. Tyquan Thornton. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Chargers are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. We are through three quarters here on NFL kickoff weekend. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee and they'll start at the 25. This Carolina offense at the line ready to go. And whatever promise they showed in the preseason has not translated into week one because they have not been particularly competitive here at home, no less. So these fans just kind of beside themselves right now. Escaping the pressure right toward the sideline. And look at that catch. Dragging the toes. And that's going to be a first down. Well done. A good pick up there of 20 yards. A big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. On first down, strong. He's got the connection downfield to Hamler. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Another big play as they get 28 out of that one. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 27. They give to Taylor out of the gun. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. They'll send a receiver in motion to the right. To throw on second down. Strong. Uh, quick throw knocked away and incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 15, it's first and 10. Looking to throw, strong. This one into the hands of Metcalf. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it's second down. Running left, Taylor. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. Off the play fake. Strong. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Flushed out right. And now here is another interception. 
picked off by Kenny Moore. And the Chargers are going to get the ball back on the turnover as they hold on fourth down. I think you and I were a little surprised back earlier in the game when he threw his second interception. I mean, who would have thought a quarterback of his caliber picked now five times? It's beyond stunning to me because we're used to that with maybe a quarterback with less experience or less talent. But a quarterback of his caliber? I can't believe what we've just seen. Absolutely. If you would have told me this coming into the ballgame, I would have said never, not in a million years. But here we go. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. On second down, Spiller looking for space. And he'll take this forward only up to about the seven. Only gets three yards there on the heels of the one-yard pickup. Sets up third and six. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Prescott. Now that'll be caught by St. Brown. And they'll get him down up past the 15, just shy of the 20. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. But normally you might say start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter, but the way that they've passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack, but you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game, and trusting this quarterback... I think he continued to do so. He's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 33 yards that time. Well, he reminded us that he was a 1,000-yard receiver a year ago as he starts off week one picking up right where he left off. He told us at the end of the preseason he was primed for a big year. He just gave us excellent evidence of his belief. Meanwhile, Prescott's throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. He's got room at the 30. Down to the 10. Touchdown! A.J. Brown, 48 yards. And the Chargers are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. Point after, right down the middle. And that stretches the lead all the way up to 27. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. And he's taken down. Back in his own seven. Julian O'Quara getting him once again his third sack of the afternoon. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And my goodness, another interception. Derwin James with a pick. And the Chargers come up with a late turnover. But it will probably only matter to the statisticians as this ball game is now officially over. Well, CD, always a little extra excitement for week one and one of our...